Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my small little Walgreens haul. So I did go into Walgreens. I wanted to use my register rewards and store coupon that I earned last week and utilize it this week so that I don't have any coupons and I could take a break next week. But I really could not figure out any deals to do so I ended up having to do the Colgate deal again. So I do have another register reward that I need to use. And then I did get um, this spit out for me. Uh, this spend 20 get five so I might go to the store again tomorrow um, or Thursday before we fly out and see if I could do one last deal at Walgreens and just kind of like splurge um, I don't think I'm gonna earn any cash or anything like that I just want to kind of burn these um, these register awards and stuff like that so we'll just see okay so let's go over the deals that I have here um, so the first deal that I did is the Colgate. So Colgate, I think this is a monthly deal. I don't know. I'm still learning Walgreens. But Colgate is a buy two and get $4 back. I pick up one of the Optic Whites at $4.50. There's a $3 digital coupon. And I picked up one of the total that was $5.50. And there is a $2 digital coupon. So for those two Colgate, it came to $10. I have five dollars worth of digital coupons so i paid five dollars i did get the four dollars back in a register award which is over here so it worked out to be a cost of a dollar so i do have that one there i do have this cover girl it is on clearance for four dollars and 79 cents it was kind of a filler and then we do have a three dollar load to card so i only paid a dollar 79 for that one and then also i did have like a booster that came through that if i spend thirty dollars I get $7 back in Walgreens cash. And then because, like I said, I'm still learning, I had that $5 store coupon that I got last week for getting the feminine care. I, from what I believe, I had to spend over $35 because that store coupon, it, it doesn't count. So I had to spend $35 to earn my Walgreens cash of $7 because it spent 30 get seven but uh the i can't use a store coupon um within that 30 because that will reduce my spending so i think that's how it works and so that's what i did so i just i spent more than 35 dollars so i can use my five dollar store coupon and then i also had that four dollar register reward from colgate from last week so that's what i was working with okay so i did the colgate i did the cover girl with the Olay, they're in promotion for uh, $9 each. We do have a $5 load to card. And then I noticed on the app that if you spend $20 or more in PNG, you'll get $5 back in Walgreens cash. So what I did was I threw in this Crest. Crest is part of a separate promotion, but I threw that one in as well, which is $4. And then um, with that one, I'm supposed to get like a I'll get two dollars back from Ibotta, but it didn't work out. But they they helped me in the end. I did contact customer service, but it did work out. So I'll just quickly go over this. So with the uh, Olay, the Olay they are two for nine, so that comes to eighteen dollars. We have a five for two digital coupon, so that comes to thirteen dollars. And then Ibotta is giving back two dollars on each, which is four dollars. So I paid nine dollars for that. With the Crest, that was $4. So if I add that to there, that is technically $13 minus $2 back from Ibotta, that's 11 And then because I'm spending over 20 I was expecting $5 back, which will bring that down to $6. I initially did not get it, but when I called customer service, they did issue me $5 in Walgreens cash. So it did work out in the end, if that all makes sense. Okay, let me go over my receipt and then my totals in for everything. Okay, so over here you've got, there's the Crest for $4. Um, I think if I spent, I did this last week, so I have no digital coupons, but I believe it's spend 12 and get $6 back. And then um, I did not get the six with this one. I, from what I remember last week, but customer service did give me the six anyway. Um, but yeah, I did just pick up that for $4 because I was trying to get to $20 worth of uh, P&G so that I can get the $5 Walgreens cash, but it didn't come through. But let's go over this anyway. So we have the CoverGirl, which is $4.97. We have the Olay, which is $18. Colgate, which is $4.50. And Colgate, that's $4.50. Okay, so this points, uh, one point, so 
at the at, well, with the Catalina, it spat out a coupon for 10% back because it's my birthday month. And so I ended up utilizing that, which is that coupon there. And then this $5 is the store coupon that I had from last week. And this $4 is the register reward from the Colgate from last week. So I'm going to take those out in the end. I have my five off of two for Olay, my $3 CoverGirl, my $3 Colgate, and then my $2 Colgate. So I paid uh, $14.79, adding in those uh, $9 worth, that's $23.79. I did get $10.10 back in Walgreens cash, seven for the booster, and then three ten for, I guess, my birthday. I did get the $4 register reward for the Colgate. I ended up submitting on Ibotta for $6 back between the Olay and the Crest. I also submitted on Shopmium for the CoverGirl. There's $3 back, which I got. And then uh, because I contacted customer service, they did give me a $5 Walgreens cash, which is another five dollars back. So for everything here from twenty three seventy nine between Walgreens cash, Ibotta, Shopmium, and Register Rewards, everything here worked out to be a four dollar and thirty one cent money maker. That's not including tax. I spent about two sixty two in tax. So including tax, it's just about a one dollar and seventy cent money maker, which I think is a pretty good deal for those. So that's what I did at Walgreens, but I do plan to go back. Um, I don't have any more booster coupons, but let me know. So I got a booster coupon in my email that if I spend thirty dollars, I get seven dollars back. Is that can I use that again? Um, does it disappear after a one time use? Uh, let me know. If not, I will probably go back and try and. I'll spend another $30 because I want to use this one as well because then that means I'll get $5 plus $7 and then I do have this one as well that I want to use. So let me know because that booster coupon is still showing on my account and will I get the other $7 if I spend another $30? Uh, let me know. I also have another booster that if I do six transactions of $30 or more this month, I'll get $30. So this is one transaction here. Maybe I'll do another one. I will do another one this week to utilize those coupons. And then I'll just have to do a bunch more when I get back. Um, I'm still learning with uh, Walgreens. I think this is my third ever couponing haul. So um, I'm still learning. I'm watching a lot of videos and people are, are giving me tips on how to uh, work Walgreens but it's still very very confusing I really don't like these paper coupons that only um, are valid for like one to two weeks it really forces you to go back to the store and then with utilizing Walgreens cash knowing that that deducts as well when it comes to booster coupons yeah still confusing but other than that that is my Walgreens haul it worked out in the end I still had to call customer service because that spend 20 get five dollars back in png did not work but in the end this worked out to be a money maker overall so really happy about that and so yeah that is my walgreens haul and thank you for watching <laughs>